At the top of a 9,000 foot mountain made of shale from an ancient lake bed, we searched for leaf and insect fossils around 50 million years old. I'm trying to get this sleep off. The fossils were easy to find in the piles of shale that other people had left. Whoa, it did it perfectly. This mountaintop is part of the Green River Formation, dating from around 53.5 to 48.5 million years ago. This was when the nearby Rocky Mountains were uplifted. Between the mountains were vast lakes where sediments, leaves, and animal remains collected for millions of years. This is a little lizard. It's really fat with a tiny tail. I don't want to hurt it. Hey, little buddy. Another fossil hunter named Cole gave us the counterpart to his part of the dragonfly fossil he found. The details are amazing. We put a link to his YouTube channel below. Look. Nice. It's like in a bowl. When you break apart a piece of shale with a fossil imprint in it, one side is called the part and the other is called the counterpart. I like how this leaf shows insect damage. Here's another cool leaf. Oh my gosh. I think that was the other one. There's Look a little other one somewhere in there. That one you can definitely see his wings. Just found this here. Two nights before, we arrived at another Green River Formation fossil site. Exhausted, we slept in the car. At sunrise, we woke up to this desert landscape. Yes. And you can work with it. If you want to. Whoa. Looks like a wave almost. formation is the largest oil shale deposit in the world. Believe it or not, it holds more oil than the entire Middle East. Since around 2000, this deposit has been tapped more and more. Each dot in these satellite images is an oil or gas well. We visited the Utah Field House of Natural History, where they helped us to identify our finds. These are willows. The curator took us on a tour of their collection. We got a couple of these. They have they have insects in them, so we're going to take a look at that under a microscope. The curator didn't want his face videoed, so we respected that. Yeah, that's a beetle. Wow, look at that. That's amazing. These are crane flies. Oh, wow. Almost all of these have wings down. These are flies, called march flies. That is really cool. That one I showed you, yours is kind of like that, just poorly preserved. A um, oh yeah, that's much better shape. Yes. And there are dragonflies, and they can get regular dragonfly, modern day dragonfly flies. size. All of these little circles, dots, squiggles, are some kind of fruiting body. Squiggle. Uh, fruiting, fruiting body. Fruiting body, or seeds. We'll just have this? to look. Yeah, there, there's a good flower. Oh, that's cool. Oh, oh there's the good one in the back. Ah. Oh, wow. Some, so you can see all the veins, and that makes it easy to identify. These are what, these are Magnetia. Oh. Wow. And these this are is a, sycamores. These are the sycamores. An easy way to see it, a sycamore, is see these three veins all come to a single point. If you have five, like all of these would come together, it's a different plant all together. Similar. So here's some more. Yeah, that's one, two, three. Three.